Hello! Today I am packing my watercolor travel kit to go paint in the park, and I figured I would take you along with me. So, let's actually get my tea out of the way. So, first I always put a couple of Tombow markers in here, and a couple of colored pencils, this multi-color colored pencil, and this extra water brush. Now these three, these things go at the bottom because I'm probably not going to use them. They're there just in case, you know, inspiration strikes or for some reason I can't use my regular watercolor brushes or maybe I just want to sketch. They're kind of just there for that and I don't actually use them very often so they go at the bottom and then i have this liner pen and this liner pen has a smaller side and a bigger side and it's really in here for the bigger side it's watercolor or a watercolor it's waterproof once it's dried and i have this little baby ruler that i cut in half a while ago i have a little baby eraser. I have a little baby sharpener that works for everything except this fat colored pencil. If that gets dull, then you know what? It gets dull and I can't use it anymore. <laughs> then I have these just regular pencils. Then I have clips to hold paper. I can get away with just one, but I prefer to have two with me. Then I have this collapsible water cup. It's a nice size, not too big, not too small. And it fits right in here. Next is my travel spray water bottle. It used to be a kid's paint thing. I don't know, it was filled with blue paint and you could spray it at the bottle. Uh, which is why it looks kind of blue. I washed it out and it's the perfect size to use for traveling with your watercolors. I use this literally all the time. I use it as my main water water sprayer before I got a bigger one for my when I'm at home. And so that comes with me everywhere when I'm painting. Next are my microns. I have three different sizes here two, five, and eight, and those go in the front here, although I have not been using these very much lately because I got myself this fountain pen, and I love this. I've been using it literally all the time. It was super cheap and not brand name branded, so I don't even know who makes it, but I filled it with water uh, with ink that uh, you can use watercolor on once it's dry and it dries pretty quickly and I use it all the time now so that's definitely one of my favorite recent additions to my kit. Then I have my actual watercolor brushes. I have four of them and I use, to be honest, I kind of only really use these two because um, they're a little bit um, snappier. These two are a little softer, and um, I don't know, I guess when I'm painting with my travel set, I usually end up preferring a snappier brush. So I have an Escoda size 4. And I have... Uh, which brand is this? Um, you know what? I don't even remember right now. It's a nice brush though. Oh, Da Vinci. I think this is a Da Vinci brush. And I think that it is supposed to be a size six, but it's kind of small. I'll double check this and then put it in the description. Uh, but this is also a pretty soft brush. I, I mean, I like these. Both of these are nice to use. I just don't end up reaching for them very often while I'm out. This one's the one I use the most. It's the Princeton Neptune size 8. 
Okay, let me wet that a little bit so it doesn't get ruined when I put it away. All of these have little holes at the bottom, so like it's not great to put them away while they're wet, but if they're like a little damp, it's okay. This is a size 10 Princeton Aqua Elite. And there's a pretty big size difference between the 8 and the 10, but um, this one comes to a pretty nice point, if you can tell. So this and the last brush are the ones that I use the most while I'm out and about. And then I have, usually for my watercolor bags, what I use the most often both in the studio, in the studio I say, on my desk while I'm at home, and also while I am out and about is literally just an old cut up t-shirt. I cut this one t-shirt into basically four different rags and I did that with a second t-shirt as well and I just swapped them out as needed and this one fits nicely in here so that's kind of what I use as my, my rag <laughs> next is the actual paint this is my main watercolor travel palette it's the one that I modified to hold more paint, and by modified, I really just mean that these maiden palettes just hold extra half pans in there. If you shove enough of them in there, they don't even, like, sometimes it'll pop out a little bit, but, like, I didn't put any magnets or anything or any putty to keep them in place, and I haven't really felt the need to. They pop in here pretty securely, and there's about 20 colors in here. I did occasionally I'll like squeeze an extra dot of a different color somewhere if I think I'll really want it. But um, most of these are Daniel Smith. I think this might be Schmincke Naples yellow. No, no, you know what? I'm lying. It's also Daniel Smith. I think everything in here is Daniel Smith. And this also fits in here, which is nice. And with that, this is kind of the whole kit, which is nice. It all fits in here. It's not like small, but it's also not really that big. It's pretty easy to carry around. And then sometimes if I have room, I will also bring this Da Vinci palette, which it's the Embrace Opacity palette, which was the collab with um, Denise Soden, or on YouTube, uh, in, in Liquid Color is her channel name. And these are all just more opaque colors, and I hadn't ever used a bunch of them before. Like, this was the first time I had used Naples Yellow, which is now a color that I really, really enjoy using. So, and it was also my first time using Da Vinci paints, and I like them a lot. So if I am going somewhere that's not too far, I'm not like actually traveling to go somewhere, you know, I'm just going to the park and I'm taking a tote bag anyway, then I'll just throw this in there usually. And right now, my travel sketchbook is this Hanamule toned gray paper. It's not super gray, it's kind of just, it, it basically looks white, but it is definitely a little gray. I've never used toned paper for watercolor before this, and like, I like it. I don't think I'm using it properly in terms of how you're supposed to use toned paper because I hadn't used toned paper before this either, but it's fun to play around with. It's fun to experiment on. It is, I think, some percentage, I think it might be like 75% cotton. I like the actual paper so far. It's nice. So I'll use this until I finish it. And then I don't I think I have a, a, the Hanamule 100% white, 100% cotton white sketchbook is my next one, I think. Uh, I haven't found a travel sketchbook that I love, love yet. I was using a moleskin and that was fine. It wasn't my favorite paper. Um, ideally, I think I would have like a little baby etcher sketchbook, <laughs> but um, I only have the bigger ones of those so far. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll 
make my own. I don't know if anyone has any good watercolor travel sketchbook suggestions, please let me know because I'm always on the lookout. Uh, and yeah, so usually I'll take this. This is my, my little set. Sometimes if I'm not going very far or I don't know if I'm going to try to sit there for a while, I will also grab my sketchbook. This is just a cheap one from Blick. Uh, not very precious about it. I actually, honestly, I wish I had a smaller one, but I'm trying to finish this one first. I think it's almost done. But I'll throw this in there too as well if I have room. And a water bottle. So once I have like all of this stuff pretty easily fits in a tote bag even with the sketchbook and also a water bottle so yeah that's my current travel kit if anyone has any travel kit favorites please let me know again i'm always on the lookout for more stuff i love buying art supplies so yeah welcoming any suggestions and now i i'm gonna go to the park I am definitely not someone who is super comfortable filming outside. Honestly, I'm not super comfortable filming in general, but you know what? I'm learning, you know? Gotta do it to be more confident, I guess. But I think I'm always going to feel a little anxious about filming outside in public where people can, can see you, you know? I don't know. It's just, I feel like that's something a lot of people feel, so it's not really you know, unusual, but I do love painting outside, so, um, and I mean, I would do it anyway, but I am trying to be more comfortable with kind of filming little snippets of that endeavor. It is also really hard to hold your phone and try to film while you're painting. I keep, you know, I'll, like, I'll move my hand without realizing it, or, like, I kind of need my other hand as a stabilizer, because, you know, I'm sitting with a sketchbook on my lap, and, you know, it's all, it's all a very complicated kind of a setup, so I don't really film most of the process very often. I'm usually just doing little snippets, just because it's really hard, um, and I, you know, again, I'm uncomfortable, but, uh, I do really love getting outside, so I'm trying to do it as much as I can before it gets too cold, since we're definitely moving into fall now, you can really feel it in the city, which is nice, but also makes me sad because I don't like being cold. And yeah, if you have stuck with me this long, thank you for watching this whole video again let me know what kind of travel supplies you use uh, and I will see you in the next one